Hey guys, how y'all doing? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to all those around the world. Welcome back to another Pokemon Night video featuring Ninetales coming through the jungle on the way back up to Masters. Today we are sitting here playing with the group, our normal group from Discord, having a good time in our little stack here. We have an interesting team composition. We have Kremrant, we have a Hoopa, and this uh, score bunny apparently doesn't know how to hit level 5 in jungle. Poor guy. Sadly enough, he barely made it alive. It's, it's okay, it's okay. But anyway, we got a Ghastly in the bot lane as well. Oof. That surf, though, definitely caught me there. It's okay, it's alright. Everybody gets one. But in any case, we're sitting here, and it looks like we're playing against another 5 stack. I'm just assuming, due to, I guess, the Twitch TV player is the Crustle up top side, so I'm assuming it's just another stack. But either way, I feel kind of bad for it, because we are playing Nine Tails in Jungle, right? And nobody gives Nine Tails the respect I think that she deserves let alone when you have a ridiculous amount of crowd control on your squad i.e cramorant into nine tails into hoopa stuns in the early game is just absolutely disgusting it really is and the best part about it this thing just scales in the late game like it, you're like you're sitting here playing with a cramorant on your squad right and you have another nine tails you have any other cc like a weekly stuff or whatever you have to respect their engage because if I don't stun you in a freeze, Kermorant's going to knock you up. If Kermorant doesn't knock you up, Kermorant's going to do a ridiculous amount of damage with, with Whirlpool. You know what I mean? It's just, or, type, or we call it Surf. You all know what I'm talking about, the tidal wave thing. But at the end of the day, we just do so much burst damage, even though we're hitting, we're sitting here trying to crowd control. Sadly enough, uh, I think he was still scoring. It's okay. It's okay. He gets his stacks up for special attack specs. We're, we're moving on. We got Machoke up there on the top side, still free farming. Because he's playing against a cross, so we shouldn't really have that much of an issue right now, to be honest with you. The only downside is we do we're having Gengar in the bot side. And it takes a little bit of time for Gengar to get going when he goes in bot lane. Oh man. See what I'm saying? That crowd control from Crustle into a dazzling gleam from Ninetales is just it's kind of ridiculous sometimes. It's something that you don't respect until it happens. You're just like, oh wow, it's a lot of CC. Well, yeah. Uh, what do you think was going to happen? At least we get this Dreadnought for free. No contesting right here. Awesome. We might be able to get to the top side, but we'll see. Because I do have Unite, and I'm probably going to push this goal. It just seems like the play to do. Oh, uh, look how much damage that is. Cinderace barely gets out yet again. But a team's able to pop off and capitalize on the rest of them because they're super low health anyhow. Nice job, buddy. That was a really good uh, hex into that uh, Shadow Ball there. And then we get crowd control by Krem Rent. And Hoopa, on top of that, just gives you a trick, gives you shields, gives you that movement speed. For for those of us that get a little bit uh like overzealous or a little bit squishy, get ready to die. Hoopa's there. He's got you. Oh boy. This might be another good one here. We have three unites for this fight in case we need it. But we shouldn't. We should be able to just take this out. Oh, got caught. Easy peasy. Then now that Hoopa has his Shadow Ball, his trick combination here, what happens? What do you think would happen, boys? Inside of a team fight, throws out all these Shadow Balls. You have to dodge the Shadow Balls or get hit by that first stun. And then you got to dodge Grammarant's uh, BS, and you got to dodge my BS. There's so much crowd control here. And I think with this sort of team composition, is going to be a little bit nuts. Now, we, we would probably change it up a little bit, but the base set, when I get to play Ninetales... It's not so often because I don't play Nine Tails a lot in the jungle. But considering these new buffs and nerfs to a lot of these Pokemon and or Buddy Barrier, it just makes her so much better. Because she is another DPS Pokemon who used to rely on Buddy Barrier. Remember that? As soon as you pop that Unite, you get Buddy Barrier to everybody. Now, you can still run Buddy Barrier on her and do just fine. But here's the thing. You, you guys see how much damage I'm doing without the Buddy Barrier? When it comes to my Unite move, when it comes to just my basic damage, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, it really is pretty nuts. And the best part about it is I can actually get rid of Buddy Barrier now. Because there's more damage in the game overall. Just as a whole. Not just through Ninetales. I'm talking about through everybody. Because Buddy Barrier is not necessarily as viable as it was before. Which means the meta changes. You, may, you guys may not see it right away. It may take a little bit for some people to realize what I mean by that. It's more so burst heavy now. Less survivability, more burst. What does Ninetales bring to the table in form of that Unite move? It's instantaneously damage for free. 
Like as soon as you're in that AOE, you hit that button and it's just instant damage. And it's a lot of damage. So being able to drop Buddy Barrier and take another DPS item, you know, like Wise Glasses, Choice Specs, or what have you, just has so much more burst. And for this jungle setup, I run a Muscle Band, Wise Glasses, and Choice Specs, in case you guys want to know. I don't necessarily need my survivability because most Ninetales players, you know how to play this Pokemon. Let alone, if you're not playing at max range like I tell you to do when you're playing Gardevoir, you don't necessarily need all these, ah, oh, I need Focus Band, ah, oh, I need Buddy Barrier, ah, oh, I need all this, 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 and this. If you're playing at max range, you're playing with your abilities on cooldown, you should be solid. If you get killed, you get killed because you're not you're squishy, right, at the end of the day, but you're here to crowd control. Line up your CC, you got your Kremorant, you got your Hoopa, you should be fine. And it's not going to happen every single game, because in every game you're going to have a perfect game. But when you're able to do things like this, like, what's the problem? Like, literally, what is the problem? Cramorant into the freeze, into the Shadow Ball stun, into the Ninetales Dazzling Gleam. Like, what do you do? You might as well just take a knee, because you lost, pretty much, at the end of the day. We're level 13. Before uh, Zapdos comes up, we should be able to hit level 15, actually, before Zapdos spawns. Oh, and we got that, too. Let's go, boys. No, actually, no. He got it. That's unfortunate. But it's okay. Now, I do notice Blastoise does hit like a truck now. I mean, he did damn. Ooh, sorry, bud. 2,400 damage, by the way, on that Unite. No big deal. Um, Blastoise did hit like a truck before, per se. But you also got to be careful because this Pokemon is absolutely disgusting now. And what I mean by that is, obviously, he doesn't have to have run Buddy Barrier no more. So what does that mean? Rapid Spin. Water Spout. Yeah, I know. A tank. Doing more damage than you. Yes. It's very, very annoying to play against because he's supposed to be a defender. And yet he's doing more damage than you. That doesn't make any sense. But he's out there. It's a thing. Just be mindful of Blastoise. Give him a little bit of respect. Inside of these team fights, because he's just going to Rapid Spin and Water Spout you down immediately. His Unite's going to click. You're going to hit 2,500 damage, give or take, and you're going to be dead. Or you can even blink. So just be mindful of Blastoise, I'm trying to tell you. Hopefully I can get another Unite move up here. This will be the fourth one this round. Zapdos is up. Hoop is in the, in the main base up there. You get that score down. I'm chilling. I'm not in a rush to get over this to Zapdos right now. My team's not in a rush to start Zapdos or what have you. We're, we're waiting, right? Just hanging out. There's the enemy team. So now I got to come over there. Crustle's moving over. I did see him come in this bush. My game plan was to stall him just a little bit so my team can go ahead and clean this up. And what do you know? Guess who runs into the team? The Crustle. That's fine. Uba's got that portal down. We're trying to take out the Zapdos really, really quick and get to the portals and get over there. We have a little bit of time left. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. We do get Gengar over there to get the free score as well. Uba gets the goals down. We're golden. So where do we go from here? We don't have to do anything else. We just win the game. <laughs> But hey, either way, this has been Paul's Plays. Give this a try, boys. Try a different composition with crowd control. Get rid of buddy barriers if you can. Give it a shot. Let me know how you think about it. Either way, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the very next video. Stay safe out there.